Welcome to 13 Minutes of Gig News in 13 minutes or less. All right, guys, we're going to jump right in. Um, so this week, we're going to talk a little grocery space. We're going to talk about maybe a little upswing in rideshare that potentially could be coming. And, uh, and then something going on with the, the delivery space as well. Let's start off with uh, my favorite, Instacart. Um, Instacart getting beat up from every direction right now. And we can start with their valuation, what the company is truly worth, what it says it's worth. Um, you know, the fact that it's gone from $48 uh, billion dollar valuation to now under 10 in 15 or in 17 months now. Um, and they're going to IPO this year, but it, this week alone, um, Heinen's in Ohio and Illinois, a grocery chain, has completely removed Instacart from their stores. Now, what does that mean? That means that they're doing um, grocery pickup. That means they're doing grocery delivery. And that means Instacart is no longer allowed to be in those stores. Um, so they're done. They're out. Um, Winn-Dixie is now pushing a pilot program like this pickup and delivery but they're hybriding it out a bit so they'll still be allowing some instacart but they're trying to push it more to their model we all know this happens in phases um kroger as i've told you guys here in colorado kroger is pushing instacart out as we speak it's been going on for weeks now they're running ads all over the place saying you know um 7.99 delivery or you can get even cheaper ones if you do the subscriptions, um, same day, and they're saying in-store prices. So, uh, and then Kroger, again, that's, you know, King Supers is owned by Kroger here in Colorado. Kroger, again, is starting to do business with Olo for uh, sushi and flowers. So it looks like, you know, I love this because they're starting to work with the smaller companies um, instead of just the giants. What does this mean for Instacart, though? I don't want to keep telling you guys what I think. I think Instacart is just being bat beaten so bad that they're going to have to take on something different. And maybe it'll be SNAP and EBT and stuff, um, you know, new, uh, the nutritional programs under SNAP uh, to help families and um, EBT payments and, and things like that for uh, lower income families and stuff. Um, I don't think that they're going to be the high end, uh, delivery service. In fact, we have DoorDash coming on board, making bids at, um, like Aldi and clients and now working with Aldi and clients that Instacart has pretty much had locked up for a while. So, you know, I think that they really missed some opportunities, especially because when the pandemic hit, Instacart blew up. Um, you know, uh, they waited till the next year. They were still doing good in 2021, a year into the pandemic. But they never really grasped what they had. And I think they thought, like a lot of these tech companies, they had so much more coming down the pipe when really uh, they had done what they're going to do. I mean, their technology, yeah, I, I don't think they have any technology that they're putting out there that other companies don't have anymore. Um, so... At this point, it seems like if you have something going for you in the gig economy space, the app-based space, it seems like it's time to pull the trigger, make your moves, go public, because this is it. I mean, I don't, I don't know. I don't, Instacart and Lyft are very concerning to me. I don't know how long they'll be around. Um, Lyft, too. I, I won't get into that today. Uh, I do want to talk about a video that's been a it's been about around for about a week now. But we haven't talked about it yet. Um, did you guys all see the... Uh, I'm sure you have if you look at any media. It's all over the place. There was an Uber um, ride in Florida where one of the passengers who was pregnant shot another passenger and killed them. Um, she is now going to court to say that she should not have to go to jail because the unborn fetus did not commit the crime. Um, 
heard some mixed feelings on this, actually, and I'm kind of surprised. I know prison reform in this country is needed across the board. However, um, I'm surprised that a lot of people or that some people have said, you know, like, well, you know, they, it's not a good environment for a pregnant person. I don't know. I mean, you can't go around. You just can't be. It doesn't seem like you should be able to go be pregnant. And that's your excuse if you kill somebody and you don't have to have any consequences. I mean, if it doesn't matter if you're pregnant or not, you know, you, you did this, you know, it's, you can't, we have to have a system that doesn't allow you to kill people. That's, I'm not, I don't know exactly what the answer is, but there needs to be penalties for that. You can't just, um, but she's arguing that because the, the fetus didn't do it, that she shouldn't have to go to jail. And actually she has not a court appointed attorney, but she's hired an attorney. She has an attorney who has taken on this case. Meaning that attorney really thinks that he can win. Attorneys don't do this, by the way. They don't do this kind of stuff just for the plug of their firm. Um, because if he did that and he lost the case, then that looks just absolutely horrible. So the, the PR becomes negative PR. Uh, so it's almost like if he takes this and he's hoping on the uh, PR from it, he's going to also need to win it. So, um, we'll see about all that. I'm not really sure. I, I don't, I gotta tell you, I don't agree. Um, but I mean, something needs to happen to this person. It shouldn't just be that, well, okay, you're pregnant, you killed somebody. So I guess that's a, that's a, that's a free pass. I, I don't agree with that. I do think the prison system is a complete disaster. Uh, but I wouldn't even know where to start. And that's not what this channel is about. However, I would love to know how you guys feel about the, um, passenger that did this in the comments and and what you think should happen um because i've been reading all the articles on this and they all seem to tell the same tale no matter which uh publication it is so it's not like it's being diluted it's pretty much a straightforward story you guys can find it on rideshare um you guys that's where you know go there if you don't already know you'll be you know all the news is there, all the social links, everything. Check it out. I also want to talk about what I see as maybe a good potential for the rideshare industry. Um, I was reading an article about the percentage of teenage drivers getting their licenses has just done a nosedive. Um, so ba let me let me start with this. So according to the National Highway Administration, um, 26% of 16 year olds are getting their license. Now that's compared to 1980 when it was 58%. Now I know that's a quite a time gap, but at the same time, why hasn't, that's not a, a that's not a number that really should have changed. You know, when you turn 16 and you can get a license is I would still think it'd be about 58 almost every year. Maybe you'd see little spikes and dips and stuff. But right now we're seeing under half of the amount of of 16-year-olds getting their licenses. And it's it's not a matter of the pandemic or any of that stuff. It's that they don't want to drive. They're getting used to an economy where they just don't need it. Um, the, the stat also goes further to say uh, just 60% of 18-year-olds have their driver's license, which I just find crazy because um, we all need an ID. Now you can go in and just get a state ID, but I mean, I don't know, even I would think you'd want to be able to drive. You'd want to know how to drive. doesn't mean you're going to have a car and you're going to be driving every day. Maybe you're going to use uh, public transit, but if you go get a state ID or a driver's license, they're about the same amount of money. So it's not that. I mean, why not take the driver's test and be able to drive? And then you just don't have to. But I, I'm just surprised. It seems like people are going in and getting their state IDs instead. That that just didn't happen when I turned 16. Everybody I knew was going to get their license. Um, so there's that. Um, there's a lot more to this article, too. Again, you can find it all at rideshirerodeo.com. And the last thing I want to touch on, you guys, is... Uh, so we have a bunch of uh, people in Washington. Um, it's about 90% Democrats um, wanting to 
get they they want explanations from DoorDash, Uber Eats, Grubhub on the junk fees. Now, what they refer to as junk fees are multi-line items, why they change dynamically, why a service fee or this fee or that fee or what's this line fee. They're coming down on the delivery space. But here's my thing. Um, you know, this, this is going on everywhere right now in on the internet with anything, apps, anything. I mean, look at Airbnb. Okay, let's take Airbnb for an example. I've been using Airbnb probably since it came around. Um, these days, you get onto Airbnb and you're looking at the nightly rate. And let's say it's a, let's just keep it easy. You know, you're looking for a three night stay. You see a hundred bucks, and you're and the old Airbnb had everything all kind of worked in there. And you hit that, and you're like, okay, book it, done. Now it's. You're, you're you're seeing the hundred bucks, so you're thinking three hundred dollars plus you know thirty dollar up. Let's say fifty dollar cleaning fees, some taxes. You're gonna be out for under four hundred bucks. I have some that say a hundred dollars, and if I go to book that, it ends up at near a thousand because of the Airbnb fee, the service fee, the cleaning fee, the, the, the taxes. Everything adds up. I mean, I just picked Airbnb. You could pick any one you want. And my, I guess my point is, why just go after the groceries? Why just go after the d delivery space? This should be a broad scale. Nobody can do this crap anymore. I mean, if you're, here's my thing, you know, it might be a lost cause battle, but if it's not, and this is truly what they believe in, then go after everything. Don't go after just the delivery space. Go after all, all of it that's doing these junk fees. Because I agree, there are a lot of line item junk fees that we all need to be aware of. Um, you know, it's, 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 it's not just transparency needed for the driver. It's also needed on the customer side as well. And uh, you guys going to be having a lot of news coming out the next week so stay tuned and that's 13 minutes of news in just under 13 minutes peace